consistently have the highest fall ratings, the lowest impact force, lowest grams per meter, the softest catching ropes on the market. It started in our basement as a hobby. My parents were both cavers and there wasn't a suitable caving rope on the market. My name's Dick Newell. Uh, I started out Blue Water when I was a Sri Lanker back in the late 60s. I've been making twisted rope since 1957. Later on, I was approached by Wayne Goff, who's a climber out of Boulder, and he encouraged me to try to come up with an American-made dynamic climbing rope and offered me his help. Uh, we feel we've got the best ropes being made in the market today and we only make them one way with one quality control system and that's the best we can do. Uh, we've been ISO certified which is a guaranteed international quality insurance program for 15 years. The beauty of being a, a small family owned company is you don't have to satisfy stockholders for machinery expenses. If you need a piece of equipment to make your process or product better, then you just buy it. One thing that sets Blue Water apart would be our employees. People, if, if you've worked here less than 10 years, you're kind of a new employee. Most of these people have been here over 10 years. Some of them have been over 20, and if you can't higher substitution for knowledge. I wouldn't want to work for any other rope company or manufacturer. Um, very close-knit community here. The employees at Blue Water combined have over 300 years of cumulative work experience. Some of the best feedback we get for product development comes straight from our athletes. Uh, we feel like we got the best athlete team in the world. Uh, Conrad Anchor, Tommy Caldwell, Cedar Wright, Beth Rodden, just to name a few. Uh, we've expanded our line, but climbing still remains our, uh, our baby. Yeah, give it up for Blue Water, man. Make the finest ropes in the world. Keep you safe, keep you off the deck when you're climbing. More than that, they're great people. Scott and his team, they're genuine. Every year they support the climbing center here in Nepal with eight ropes. Russell Bryce with Himalayan Expeditions buys spool upon spool of blue water rope. And it's what the people use here on Everest. And it continues to evolve. Well, we've got into other fibers for other, other applications, but I, I love it's still the climbing industry. And so we look to the climbers to give us inspiration to go even further.